Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number 7 of the MPL, the Minor Pokemon League, and this is actually going to be the final week. And uh, we're up against a friend, Sparrows. We did play him in the PGBL. We played him twice, he was our rival in the PGBL, and uh, we split each other completely evenly. We both beat each other 4-0. So this is going to definitely be a bit of a tiebreaker, and I brought an, an insane team in my opinion but here we see the team and i'm gonna try to not forget to screenshot it okay we see the miltank lacephalon shinotic conkelder blastoise and electivire okay so first and foremost no bisharp okay i was insanely scared of bisharp i was incredibly scared of the bisharp bisharp was one of the biggest threats to my team because um with the makeup of his team i kind of felt like if i set up sticky webs then i'd kind of be in a fantastic position to win and i didn't want to give it defiant sucker punch to just blow through my team so this is a very interesting team i, I, I kind of just want to lead off with the with the toros here I think. I think Tauros is the best lead here. I'm gonna do that. I think I very much over prepped for a few things. I really did think he would bring the Mega Sceptile. Blacephalon is going to be a huge, huge problem for me. Um, But no Sceptile is kind of wild. No Gligar is also huge. Honestly, I was kind of fearing Volbeat as well. Uh, and I really wanted him to bring Tyrantrum. I think he did not bring Tyrantrum to a single match for the season. But um, I do have a very, very new team. I made a bunch of transactions. I'm going to try to recap them. But he leads off with a mill tank. It, it's kind of what I expected him to want to lead off with. Because uh, I kind of thought he would want to go for the Rocks lead. Now, I would not be surprised at all if this is a fully physically defensive mill tank. Regardless, I think I need that body slam damage. Yeah, I really just need that body slam damage, especially if he's going to give me a turn on this stealth rock. Then I really think I just have to click it. There's the body slam. Should do 40% at least. Okay, citrus berry? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he will be able to take two body slams, but... I think I still end up on the better side of this one. Part of me really just wants to click Rock Slide, expecting maybe the Blacephalon to come in. But realistically, I just click um, Body Slam once again. Uh, so this Mill Tank, it's not an offensive Mill Tank, I don't think. But let me see here. Um, that might honestly be, it might be especially defensive mill tank because, uh, max HP, oh, I get the crit, okay, that is super unfortunate, I'm sorry, I genuinely am, I, that crit definitely mattered, it 100% mattered, in fact, I'm gonna say, sorry about that, dude. Uh, but we will see this thing. And part of me just wants to go into the Torkoal. Do I really... What do I really need the Torkoal for? Um... I don't think I need the Torkoal for much. Although, I do want to Rapid Spin with the Torkoal, if I'm being honest. I do want to Rapid Spin with the Torkoal. I could give up the Tauros. Tauros might be too valuable. Tauros might be too valuable. I could go into the Nine Tails here. I could go into the Nine Tails here. I think I might just go into Nine Tails. Because, okay, so Nine Tails is not going to have that big of a role for the like grand scheme of this match. 
Yeah, I think nine tails might be a little bit expendable. So I think I'm okay with going into nine tails here. Let's see, Conkelder. There's the drought. And what do we see? Just goes for a knockoff. Knocks off my leftovers, but uh, it does quite a bit of damage. He's not guts, which is interesting. He does kind of have to respect the extra extra sensory. That almost certainly has to be an adamant. Let's do some math, actually. I believe I came in at 117. And if we... Subtract 48, it did 69 points of damage. Yeah, that's almost... Yeah, that's adamant. That's max attack adamant. Oh no, it can't be adamant. Oh no, wait, I'm on knockoff. Or not on knockoff. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely adamant. So if he has the mock punch, do, would we take one? Uh, possibly. No. Oh no, we 100% we take, take a mock punch because according to this, max attack adamant does a max of 46 points of damage and we're at 48. So we can get a big flamethrower off. I feel like I just clicked flamethrower here. Even if he goes for the mock punch, just withdraws. Into what? Blastoise? That I definitely don't mind because if he wants to click rain dance, let's see. Okay, that is... Oh, we get the burn. That's... Again, super unfortunate. I've, I 100% think that he... Think that... 100% think that he goes for the rain dance here. But... I think all that that means for me is that I... Uh, click energy ball here. Or I double into... Shift tree. I could double into shift tree. No. I just take the energy ball damage. Flamethrower in sun did... Yeah, right about 15-ish percent. So if I give it max special defense... Yeah, max special defense makes sense. Which means energy ball would do about a quarter. I could Calm Mind. Could Calm Mind be a play? Could Calm Mind be a play? Um, I don't think it means that we take anything after he sets up rain. Yeah. I think just taking a little bit more damage with the energy ball would be the best play to go for. I don't see any way that he would not go for... Go, oh, goes for the mirror coat. Okay. Okay. That is totally fair enough. But now we know that this is a max special defense. Oh, Blastoise. Which means Leaf Blade is an Oko. Nope, I almost went into the wrong Mon. But Leaf Blade is a definite Oko. Now, does that mean I would want to go for knockoff, maybe? No, I don't think it does. I think I just have to take the Leaf Blade damage. I just have to take the leaf blade damage. Knockoff? Okay, so knockoff has a chance to KO. But I don't think it's I definitely do not think that it's a risk worth taking. Could go into Shinotic here. Shinotic is really his only switch in at this point. I should have gone for knockoff. Shinotic. What? How do you spell Shinotic? Oh, it's two eyes, isn't it? Yeah, it's two eyes. Uh, that did quite a bit of damage. I don't think that that was a crit. I believe that that means that that's max special defense. Hmm. Yeah, I believe that that's max special defense. 
Um, which means that I can't just click HPIs on this thing. I feel like my play would have to be to just go into my Rabombi and set up some sticky webs. Goes for the toxic. It's fine with me. Um, what's a Rabombi doing in this situation? He doesn't have the best switches into Moonblast. He could go... No, the best play definitely has to be to just click Sticky Web. If he knows what I'm doing and just goes straight into the Blastoise, that would be impressive, but... I don't know. I don't know. My only real concern is the... His, is his potential Scarfs. So, Scarf plus Cephalon seems pretty darn likely right now. As he goes into the Electivire, I feel like this means that the Electivire has to be Scarfed, right? It honestly makes me want to go into my Torkoal right now. The sun's gone away, correct? Yeah. My play has to be Torkoal. Because I would not be surprised at all if I have to get up my webs again later on in the match. Um, because Blastoise is able to get them away. But regardless, getting up this drought... If he goes for Earthquake, he is a god. Goes for the light screen. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. But just being able to click Rapid Spin, it does give him the freest of switches into the Blastoise here. Does not go into the Blastoise. Goes into this thing. The fact that it's, um, caught under... Oh, he, he spin boxed me. Okay. I'm... Okay. I can't believe that that... Placephalon. Against Torkoal. I click Stealth Rock. Goes for a sub. Now, unless this is a very bulky Placephalon, I should still be able to break the sub um, with Earth Power. If this is sub Call Mine, then I lose. But I guess we see because even behind Reflect, I should be able to KO this thing with. Uh. Or KO the substitute with Earth Power. Do we see the substitute fade? Okay, okay. That's honestly a relief. Now my shift tree is free to come in and click knock off. As long as I do not let him get up a sub. And uh, this may... This might be the last turn of uh, light screen as well. We don't take it, that's unfortunate. But, like I said, my show, oh my god. Okay, I was also super scared that he was gonna get a speed beast boost, but uh, regardless. My shifter comes in, clicks knock off, and uh, Oh no, the sun ran out. Do I even still have speed? 
Oh no, the sun ran out. Oh my god. Um, what is my shift tree speed even? It's 114. I don't think that that... He has to fear Sucker Punch as well. If he's modest, he doesn't. I, I click knockoff. He withdraws. Okay. Goes into the Shenotic. And I can knock off whatever the heck this thing had. And it's Kebia Berry. Interesting. Uh, but this thing is very much... I just click knock off again, right? I just click knock off again. I've been making so many misplays so far, but uh, Tauros is a potential win con. Tauros uh, outspeeds the entire team. Uh, out actually, Toro should have outsped his entire team even before um, the Siki Web, unless it's a scarfed El Electivire. Excuse me, unless it's a scarfed Electivire. This is an incoming mock punch. Unless it's a scarfed Electivire um, with Light Screen, but. Uh, I have to go into my Rabombi here. And I do get a pretty free Moonblast right now. Um, yeah, my Rabombi doesn't do much for me anymore. Although I didn't take stock of that damage, I might not take another Mach Punch. Regardless, I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure that it's fine. I still have every piece that I still need to win this if, uh, in the longer run. Uh, it should... Take rocks, take burn damage, take a moon blast. Is that enough? Yes! Okay, that is huge. That is huge, huge, huge. Putting this in range is absolutely huge. And no matter what, unless this thing has Aqua Jet, um, we 100% get a Moon Blast off and are able to take out this Blastoise. So... That's a lot of his biggest threats gone. I still need to be able to handle the Electivire. Let me see. Electivire. How much damage do I need for Tauros to be able to... Okay, according to this, Body Slam threatens an Oko on completely not, no defensive investment um, Electivire. And I think I have to go into my Tauros here. I think I have to go into my Tauros here. Goes into Conkelder. Uh, I feel like he has to go for Mach Punch. And we know that this thing is adamant. Um, we take that reasonably well, but we don't take two. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go into my Lilligan here. And Drain Punch. Interesting.
We take that okay, and I feel like our only play would be to Synthesis here. Let's see. Oh, we guaranteed take a Drain Punch. We guaranteed take a Drain Punch. So... Yeah, the thing is, if I Giga Drain, I'm not getting enough. I'm not guaranteed getting enough to take a Mach Punch after that. I have to click Synthesis, 100%. Does withdraw, does let me get back up to full. It goes into this thing. But, what that'll allow me to do is give up my... Give up my... Shift tree next turn, and then start threatening with Tauros. Except now he's free to set up a. Now he's free to set up a substitute as well. But no, you gotta think he takes this opportunity just to get damage off. Yeah, he has to take this opportunity to get damage off. I have to give up the shift trait right now. We avoid it, okay. Now, I mean, theoretically he has to be afraid of a potential sucker punch. But would he be? Is knocking off Kinkelder worth it? Kinkelder might be max HP as well. Um. Actually, yeah, Leaf Blading into the possible Kinkelder is hugely worth it, so. Does stay in, go for the Fire Blast, that's totally fair. I did not have Sucker Punch on my set. If I did, I think I would have won by now. But, um... The play has to be... To go into Tauros. Click Rock Slide. Click Rock Slide. Um, and then actually at that point, oh, does let me take this thing out. So he's depending on his Kinkelder to win this for him. Or his Electivire, I guess, but uh, I don't think Electivire is the wave. I think he was also expecting me to play some... Play some games with uh I, see i don't know what this does because i lower speed unless it's a really bulky electivire sheer force life or body slam threatens a ko after rocks especially after rocks it threatens a ko regardless but uh after rocks definitely unless he's trying to figure out whether or not i'm scarfed okay it is a very um defensive electivire but It, I think, I think my Lilligant can win this. I think my Lilligant can win this. Unless it's a very, very bulky Kinkelder. And it could be. It definitely could be. Let me just make sure. Uh, Kinkelder. Oh, sorry, where is Tauros? Yeah. Tauros should do about a third. 
It almost doesn't matter because of the reflect. And he's clearly going for Drain Punch just to get his HP back up. Oh, goes for the knockoff. Maybe he expected me to try to aggressively switch into the... Well, now I'm also in range of... Mock Punch. But maybe... Yeah, maybe he did that just to guard himself against a potential... It does go for the Mock Punch. So, we do deny him a little bit of... We do deny him a little bit of Drain Punch recovery, which I guess doesn't matter because it's going to Drain Punch on my Lilligant, but I believe... Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I, I really needed to gauge damage based off of uh, that Body Slam, and judging based off that Body Slam, knowing that he has the Reflect up, knowing that he has the Reflect up, where's the Reflect button? Body Slam should have been doing 30 to 35%, which does look pretty much exactly right. So now, I believe I can Quiver Dance. Let me just make sure. Max Attack. Adamant. Against Lilligant. It could be Assault Vested, which would honestly be pretty bad. But, if I give this Mock Punch, Drain Punch, and it could have Ice Punch as well, but also Knock Off. Um, it looks like no matter what, I take two of whatever he would want to go for. So, I the play has to be to Quiver Dance. Or no, I just go for Giga Drains, because it's, it's not going to matter. And I get HP back. Yeah, I just click a drain repeatedly. Because it's going to continually get my HP back up. As he goes for the knockoff. Um... I think I have to Quiver Dance here. No. Quiver Dance puts me in range of Mock Punch after Drain Punch. I'm gonna click Kick a Drain. He's going to get a lot of HP back with that Drain Punch, but... I think... Hmm. I have to... Try to wear him down like this. Wait, this has a chance to KO, doesn't it? Oh my god, okay. Mock Punch wins in the game, we lose. Alright, I, I, I definitely misplayed. I definitely misplayed. I'm gonna tell him GG. That's unfortunate. I can click Synthesis all I want, but uh, you won this match. I'm very upset with uh, how I played that one, but I guess that's just gonna be how it goes. He 100% beat me. I did not. I did not expect Conkelder. I should have done more to prepare for Conkelder. I, I. Yeah, I just didn't expect it as much as I should have. I prepped for so much of his team, but he just um, came with so much bulk, and I didn't know quite just how to deal with it. And uh, that's that's going to be the match. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more. EBL with more ICBA and a couple of other projects that uh, are going to be really, really fun in the future. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It'll be once again. Yeah.